Hey guys, it's Bethany. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to get these super easy heatless waves. Yes, heatless. And these are so easy to do. Um, I find these to be almost identical to the waves that you can get from the Bedhead Rock and Roller. Um, if you watched my haul from a couple of months ago, then you would know that I purchased this. Um, I like it, but seriously, these are like the same waves. So for this tutorial, you will need a comb, some elastics. I'm going to use four, but you can use however many you'd like. Um, some water, I'm just, I just put it in the spray bottle here. Um, some mousse, I'm using herbal essences. And some hairspray, today I'm using L'Oreal Elnip. So just divide your hair into two equal sections. And you're just gonna take one half and a hair tie and tie that out of the way. Now with the other half of your hair, you're just going to take a spray bottle and spray it a little bit so that it isn't so dry. You just want it to be a little bit damp. I don't want to use too much water because we're going to be using some mousse as well. So next I'm taking my mousse and today I'm using herbal essences. So I have a little bit here, I'm going to rub it on my hands and then run it through my hair. Okay, this is like the third time I'm putting mousse in my hair. It's just, it's just not damp enough for me. So you could also add in more water as well. So you want to work kind of fast before everything dries. So next, you're just going to separate your hair into two sections and take a comb. Just comb it so that your hair is flat and straight. And then you're going to start twisting. Keep twisting it and then like twisting the strand and twisting it into the bun as well. See, so you just have a really tight bun. And then what you want to do is take another hair tie and then just tie that to secure it in place. And when I tie it, I don't tie it directly all on the bottom. I kind of do it around the whole thing as well, just to make sure that it stays. And so that the, the twisted part doesn't become unraveled. So again, just twisting. Taking another hair tie and securing that in place. And next we're just going to repeat the same thing on the other side. And the reason that I put mousse in is so that it holds the curl a lot better and so that it dampens the hair as well. going to wait maybe a couple hours I used to sleep on this back when I was in high school so you can sleep on it as well but if you are sleeping on it make sure that you put these buns so that they're in comfortable places like I can right now I can only sleep on the side of my face I can't sleep on my back because these would just be in the way so if you're gonna sleep on your back just make sure that you put the buns like here and here or something <coughs> um, the number of buns that you actually use really just depend on how much hair you have. So I've tried this with two buns before and it doesn't work out as well for me. Uh, the curls just aren't as tight and they don't last as long. So yeah, that's why I decided to do four. So it's been about three to four hours since I put my hair in these buns. And while I was waiting for my hair to dry, I just um, ate and edited some vlogs because I make vlogs quite regularly. But um, I haven't put them up on YouTube or anything. I just like to have them to look back on in the future. But if you guys are interested in seeing some of them, then let me know. And I'll put them up on a separate channel for you guys. Um, what else did I do? Oh, I obviously got ready. But the good thing about this hairstyle is that it's like super easy to try on different outfits. Because you don't have to worry about messing up your hair. And um, I also did my makeup while I was waiting. Okay, so let's just take these out and see how they look. I've already... Um, Taken off the bottom two elastics. Okay, so I guess we'll start with the bottom. And once they're like this, all you're gonna do is just separate them little bit by little bit. And don't worry about like pulling the hair and making it kind of gets tangled like this, but don't worry about it ruining the rest of it. It's still a little bit damp, so if you do leave it in all night long, then it shouldn't 
be as damp, it should be more dry. While you're taking them apart, you can also roll, wrap them a little bit or twist them like I'm doing here. And that will just um, ensure that the curls stay in longer. So once you've taken apart all the curls, you want to kind of make sure that there isn't a line going down the middle of your head because remember how we separated it in the beginning so kind of just bunch it together and then what you want to do is add a little bit of hairspray use a different hairspray I'll be back. when you've sprayed three times and you just spray it at yourself three times in a row or just say that's when you should try using a different hairspray for the day so today I'm going to be using the L'Oreal El Nit satin spray instead and I actually like this kind of spray better because I like the mist So this hairstyle will really just turn out differently depending on how you do it, depending on um, how thick the hair is when you wrap it into a bun, depending on how many buns you do, depending on how high you put up on your head. So if you don't like how it's, it kind of looks wavy at the top here, then just make the buns lower on your head instead of high up like I did. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial and let me know if you have any other requests and thank you so much for liking, subscribing, commenting and sharing this video. Okay, talk to you guys soon. Bye. Don't twist them so high up your head. This whole side of my face is sticky.